Good job. Yeah. You press the button. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. What's up guys? So happy Friday. Uh, yesterday's footage was basically just me getting in and out of the car, in and out of the car, in and out of the car, going from meeting to meeting to meeting. I sold 18 life insurance policies yesterday, uh, but there wasn't a lot of uh, content that we can show, and, and I apologize for that, uh, but that's just the way it is. Like, I can't bring TJ into these meetings with me uh, when I'm sitting across from the, uh, sitting across the table from someone selling a life insurance policy, um, and so sometimes it's just going to be like that. So what I thought we would do on this episode uh, is show you a speech that I gave this past weekend, last Saturday, uh, we flew in all of our top agents from around the country, our leaders, here to Greenville, South Carolina for a leadership uh, weekend. They came in, we started at 3 p.m. on Friday, got done late Friday night, 7 a.m. on Saturday, done at like 11 o'clock uh, Saturday night after dinner, uh, back 7 a.m. Uh, on Sunday, and got done like around 4 or 5 on Sunday, and, and got a ton of stuff done, a ton of growth and personal development for our leaders. And I gave this speech, uh, and it's on leading by example. Uh, don't talk about it, be about it. And that's one thing that is probably the the most defining characteristic of myself as far as when it comes to being a leader is just purely leading by example uh, and that's just something that I want to be able to show through these daily vlogs but I'd like for you guys to see this speech where I actually talk about what is leading by example really mean and again this is a speech given to the leaders of our company and that's the key is even if you are a leader you still have to lead by example so I hope you enjoy is don't talk about it, be about it. And there's a couple of points I want to hit, a couple of illustrations here, but I'll try to be as brief as I can. You all probably have heard that before. Um, but as we discuss this new meritocracy, I want us to just all get bought in on holding other people or not holding other people to a higher standard than we hold ourselves, right? So when you get these teams, not holding your teammates to a higher standard than you hold yourself. Not holding anybody else that's in this room to a higher standard than you hold yourself. And so all of those characteristics we listed out on here yesterday afternoon about you know, what a leader is. Well, a true leader proves those things by what they do, not what they say. And I think that's the most important thing going into this atmosphere with these new teams. And now that you have a really vested interest in getting those people on your team to the next level because that's how you'll ultimately make more money. And so I want to write one thing down real quick here on the board. So it's a little awkward, but does anybody know what those numbers are? So those are the rankings of everybody in the room, right? That's the rankings. So a lot of those things that we listed, and I'm just going to leave this up here, but a lot of those things we listed last night on the characteristics of a leader, one of them that a bunch of people said was transparency. And Jimmy, you said it's a huge buzzword. Everybody talks about being transparent. The funny thing that I've found lately, especially this last year, is that a lot of people talk about wanting transparency but are not willing to be transparent in what they're really doing on a daily basis and what's really exactly. <laughs> and so another thing that was listed um, last night that was said by a bunch of people is integrity. I want you to hear this definition that I found of integrity that's in extremely interesting as it pertains to that. So integrity is choosing courage over comfort, choosing what is right over what is fun and easy, and choosing to practice our values rather than simply professing them. That's what integrity is, okay? 
So another good phrase, example is not the main thing in influencing others, it's the only thing. So when we talk about leading by example, Trey last night at dinner, she asked me, you know, what do I need to be doing to lead this team, to get these people to be better? Like, what do I need to do as far as the communication? And I told her, the first thing you have to do is get on that top 10 board each week. When we do the webinars, be on that top 10 list. That's the absolute best thing you can do, is just show them what it looks like to succeed. Don't ask them to do anything that you're not doing every week. And I've said this before, and it's harsh, but every time they don't see you as their leader, on the top 10, when we do these webinars, it's a notch off your credibility. Notch off the credibility. Notch off the credibility. And there's only a matter of time where they're, you're telling them, Here, here's how you do this, and here's the best way to do this, and here's how I do this. And they're like, well, I don't know if I want to do that because I haven't seen you up there. And some of them will see themselves up there more than us. And so the only thing we can do is lead by example. So. Leadership is not a position or title, it's action and example. And so when we talk about this meritocracy, notice that it wasn't called a, I'm trying to think how this would be worded, a senioritocracy. It's not what we've done, it's what we're doing. I thought you were speaking Spanish. <laughs> Seniority, senioritocracy, is that what it would be? But it's a meritocracy because it's based on your merit. So it's based not what on you've done in the past, not what's, how long you've been here. It's based on what you're doing right now. And I hope you believe me that I am extremely empathetic in how bad that sucks, especially for those that have been there longest. Like, I understand to you, Jimmy, that that sucks. But it is what it is. Like, it sucks to have done this for four years and have to do it even better now than you did it four years ago. I get that. But it's still the only way to lead. Like, I've used, I used this analogy a long time ago uh, with you guys about how with sports, like professional sports, you have a basketball player that goes to college, plays well, goes into the NBA, has this incredible career in the NBA, and then they retire, and they, you know, are in the Hall of Fame, and then they become a coach, and they're this incredible coach because they're based off all this past experience, this past credibility. Well, we've only been doing this for all of us four or five years max, we're not that, that level. Like We can't base our credibility on what we did four years ago or what we did three years ago. It has to all be current credibility. And again, I understand that that's frustrating, but it's just, it is what it is. And so as we go around and we talk about you know, goals and we say, I'm gonna do this this year and this this year, this video I think kind of represents the last point I want to make if you'll hit the if you'll hit the lights. And the last point I want to make is is make more moves and less announcements. So some of you this is going to be like I, I mean I don't know you're going to get a little uh, yeah but it's all right we'll walk we'll we'll, we'll all get through it together. So. So this is what a lot of people are doing. There's these, there's these dogs, and they're just like barking at them, barking at them, and getting, getting really close to this wild boar. And then they kind of back off, and you know, these are my goals. These are what I'm going to do this year. And oh, I'm about to get back to the basics. And the other guy's like, oh, I'm about there. And like, he's like, ooh. He's like, oh, no, I'm about to get serious in July. You know, oh, oh, cure to two. But then watch what happens here. It's interesting. So these guys, they're just all talk, right? All talk. Watch what happens. This literally is like Voxer for me. It's just barking, right? Watch this dude. He's like, nope, I'm in. And then boom, done. And I won't continue it because that's where a lot of you will get uh, disturbed. But, but that's what, so make less moves or make more moves and less announcements. Like all those people, like that's Voxer, like that's these conversations. That's the leadership webinar, quite frankly, is it's all those dogs just going, yeah, we're about to do this, about to do this, about to do this. I'm getting focused. Yeah, I'm getting healthy. I'm getting about to, about to, about to, about to, about to, about to, about to. And it's kind of this cliche thing like 2015 was the, practice, 2016 was the warm-up, and 2017, I'm getting in the game. 
And then it's like, oh crap, January 1, let's just move that up a year. Now 2016 was the practice, and 17 was the warm-up, and 18 is the game, and next year, January 1, all right, let's just move it up a year. And so it's just this barking, this talking, 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 but that big freaking pit bull, he just came in, it was a, he just came in there and just attacked. He didn't, he didn't say anything. He was just, and pro, you know what he was probably doing? He was probably sitting back here just making fun of those people. He was probably just sitting there looking at those dogs like, oh my gosh, here they go again. He was still in the truck. They just let him out. <laughs> yeah. But, but he was like, I don't need to say anything. I'm just going to go attack it. And, and I think that's just the way we need to be. I mean, communication, like we talked about communication, communication is key with your teams. But you can communicate all day long to your team on Voxer. But if you don't show up in the top 10, what does all that mean? 